Prime Minister James Marape and wife Rachel, along with Pangu Party members of parliament and non-parliamentary staff, welcomed supporters and guests. Many of the paying guests were business houses and investors. The Prime Minister's speech fitting for the business community as they applauded the mention of the end to the bribe culture within the public service. Especially when businesses want to do business in our country, I encourage every agent of public servants. And I note here members of the National Procurement Commission who are in the crowd. I know here a few of our key public service leaders who are in the crowd. May you not become impediments for business, but facilitators for business to grow in our country. And without this business woman or man or business entities in our country, you and me will not be earning our salary. They pay taxes to keep us running government and employ this public service. Mr. Marape saying the slogan Pangu Sawa Longrot as he stressed on how PNG can become economically independent. What is economically independent, one may ask? Simply, it's about our people and our business partners having money in their pockets. That we believe is people empowerment to be self dependent and becoming very independent. President Pangu is about creating legislative, policy, and budgetary pathways for our citizens and corporate friends to be empowered to do business in Papua New Guinea. The 2020 budget putting aside 200 million kina for small to medium enterprise, the incentive in the hope to grow business culture in PNG and to increase tax collection. The Prime Minister saying that he took offence to a comment by an expatriate that Papua New Guineans were poor and that people need to realise the value of having full ownership of traditional land. And she said Papua New Guineans are poor, poor Papua New Guineans. May I remind her and those who think we are poor, not too many countries in the world that her citizens own a piece of real estate. Our country, 97% of our land is still owned by our people. We are all landowners in our land. But lately, landowning has been defined to only those who are in the oil and gas industry. Landowning has been defined to only those who are in the mining industry. I'd like to reopen our mind today. Landowning must never be strictly confined to oil and gas and mining. For all of us are landowners. You can grow your coffee. You can do your timber. You can grow your tea. You can do your copra. You can grow your businesses in every other field that anchors and seed of land. It's just not about mining or investment. And to put the final blow of confidence, seven coalition parties, including National Alliance, United Labour Party, People's Party, Allegiance, People's Movement for Change, People's Progress Party and United Resource Party signed an MOU with Pangu as coalition partners. Adelaide Sirx Kari, National, MTV News.